the early game with Bill Gunter. Well, hello, 2022. I don't even know how to describe. I, I have no way to describe what is happening right now as we deal. If you're if you're out there and you're traveling to work this morning, uh, or at your house and listening, please be safe. The weather is nasty, uh, windy, rainy. Uh, it is it is gusting, and um, I don't even know how to describe how we are beginning 2022. Jen is in studio. Uh, Patrick's Patrick's here. He's in Nashville. I can't see him i am sitting in my driveway um in my car with with my box plugged in because i have no power at the house and a tree is down on old chapin road just as you come out of my neighborhood and i cannot get any further uh at the current moment to get to the studio and so when I plugged up the box that we use, the Comrex that we use for locations, the one that I have, I had not charged. And given that I have no power, the only alternative I had is to get into my, my Tahoe. Thank you, Love Chevrolet. To get into my Tahoe where I have electricity and cut the car on and allow the Comrex to charge while I'm able to join you for the start of 2022. Welcome. <laughs> Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't. We'll do anything yeah, for works. radio yeah. around here. Duke's Mayo Bowl game day. On the move, White. Dynamite touchdown, South Carolina. With Bill Gunter and Heath Klein. Well, you know, today's going to be interesting from a defensive standpoint because of what you just said. J.J. Inigbari, uh not there, uh, opting out. Doesn't sound like Jordan Strong is going to be there either, I believe. I believe, based on if you I'm reading the reports from Gamecock Central and TheBigSpur.com, he's one of the two guys suspended. He was not at practice this week. Uh, there's another pass rusher that could be out. So Jordan Birch, your five-star player, now – his second full season. I know last year was a little bit different for him, but his second full season, it looks like he'll get more snaps today. What do you see from Jordan Birch today that maybe gives you hope going into next year? What can that defensive line do? He, they've been giving up running yards for, for as much improvement as we've talked about with the defense this year. Will Shipley still ran for 128 yards. Tank Bigsby had 163. Uh, Isaiah Spiller and, and the other running back for Texas A&M went over 100. South South Carolina has given up running yards today, and so we talk about the pass game. But you also look at what can what can uh, uh, Ty Chandler do for North Carolina on the ground? Hey, good morning to you. Yes, we are out here at your bay and Marion, next to the Bank of America building, where we are doing the vaccination drive for COVID nineteen. You can come on by. You can get your free vaccination this morning. The team is out here and they are hanging out. It's a beautiful morning. Hey, and not only that, we got donuts out here. You can buy, you can get vaccinated, you get a free donut, get a free cup of coffee. You know me, I certainly am not passing up donuts, so that was an easy reason for me to be out by here. But you come on by again. We are at the corner of Gervais and Marion next to the Bank of America building, and it is the COVID-19 vaccination drive. It is myself and the team here from uh, the Prisma Hospital. You can come on by and hang out with us this morning. Come by, get vaccinated. It's Bill Gunner. It's 107.5 The Game. And get yourself a donut if you can beat me to the donuts before you get here. We'll see you when you come on by. Look forward to hanging out with you. Take care. And welcome in as we continue to roll along. It is the 107.5 The Game early signing day special brought to you by Herndon Chevrolet. You can catch us here all through the next three hours, Bill Gunner, Wes Mitchell, Chris Clark from Gamecock Central as we get you through. And we are the boys are getting the their live stream set up as we talk. Let's let's uh, not that we're going to dwell on the negative. There's a lot of great things to be happy about if you're a South Carolina fan today. Uh, two guys, maybe the biggest name will, as you just mentioned, will not be part necessarily of the recruiting class i'm doing using air quotes here it's a radio program so you didn't see that but this is a situation that uh barham very quiet throughout recruiting it was tough for you guys to get interviews it was really tough to kind of continuously track information um you knew penn state was in the driver's seat at one point maybe oklahoma jumped into the driver's seat late maryland certainly was always there and then he commits to south carolina and i i think it was a surprise because you guys got some intel late that it was going to be maryland he surprised everybody and then unfortunately this morning for south carolina it does end up being maryland bill gunter 